He's got an all-seeing eye, a pyramid with the eye. That is part of one of the Masonic signs. Turn around here. Some of the world's greatest mysteries include the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Were they real? What really goes on in the Bermuda Triangle? But more importantly, what are the KFC 11 herbs and spices? I have tried everything in my power to get KFC to tell me what the 11 herbs and spices are, but with no avail. So, KFC have changed the game and they've sent me to meet some people with their very own mysteries and try to get them talking. From crop circles to secret societies and many other mysteries, I've been sent to try and find out if these people can find a common ground which leads to the truth. My name is Derek Brahma, I'm from London, and I believe that there is a group of people that is controlling the world through the use of technology. Hello, my name is Charmaine, I'm from Lowestoft, and I believe in the power of the Freemasonry secret society and their role in the move towards a one world government, a one world economy, and eventually a one world religion. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Will Richards and we are here today with KFC to look into some mysteries. And you guys have got some strange opinions on? Well, it's how technologically people are controlling our lives. Okay, and you have something similar but slightly opposing, which is? Freemasonry, which seems a mystery, but there's a lot of reality behind it. Okay, so some juicy stuff we're gonna get into, but before we do, we should acquaint ourselves with some questions that hopefully will bring us a little closer together. Ladies first, Charmaine, I'm going to ask you. Are you ready? Of course. Bones or boneless chicken? Definitely bones. Definitely bones? Absolutely. What? The bones have, give the chicken flavour. And yourself, bones or boneless? Boneless, definitely. You yep. don't want to choke on a bone. Do you wear false teeth? No, I don't. No. Do you? Certainly not. That's why I can have a chicken with a bone. Gravy or beans? Gravy. 100% agree. Derek, gravy or beans? Beans, what? Obviously, of course he's going to go for beans. <laughs> Fillet or zinger? Fillet, mm. plenty of succulent meat. And yourself? Uh -huh. You can't beat that. I think fillet, yes. Yeah. Bucket or burger? Oh, bucket. Mm. Bucket all the time. Okay, and yourself, Derek? I'd, I'd go for an individual burger, but if I've got friends around, we'll have a bucket. Legs or breast? Oh, legs. But could I add, I really like thighs as well. In mm. fact, when I go to KFC and ask for a bucket, I specifically ask for all legs and thighs. Well, there's Derek. nothing wrong with a nice pair of thighs, but no. I am a breast man myself. Okay, well, that is the last of the KFC questions. We're going to move swiftly over and ask some, well, more mystery-based questions. What convinced you of your theory? Well, my great-grandfather was very high up in it, and I discovered, first of all, about the secrecy, 33 orders, 140 oaths, oaths that involve covering up except for murder or treason. However, at the very highest order, do you know that even murder and treason are not exempt? Now, pop that into some bodies, okay? Yeah, pop it in. Pop it into some bodies that happen to be members of the judiciary, politicians, or bankers, and you begin to have the pawn set on a chessboard for controlling humanity. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you the same question now. What convinced you of your theory? Well, what started to happen is we would be at home and have conversations about certain things. How is it that every time I talk about something, within about 10, 15 minutes, it pops up as an advert? And there was one instance when I was talking about quite a specific car that I'd seen. They'd taken a photograph of it. Within 24 hours, a picture of this car as a model appeared on my Instagram feed. And it's these huge big companies such as Amazon, such as Facebook. And what they're doing is they're getting all of the information so they know you really better than they know you know yourself. So well, obviously, it's possible that they could know you better than you know yourself, unless yourself is a very limited uh, script 
young man. Possibly. Thank you for the young man. <laughs> what they're doing is all of these companies are taking this information and then they're sorting out ways to manipulate you. You can then start manipulating the American presidency. Well, there's a big question over that. However, within um, your waffle, there are, there are a few little salient points that... Thank you. ..that, interestingly enough, connect to my bigger picture. Right. I agree that there is actually a force at work wanting to control us. All of these pawns have to be put in place. Okay. And your little technology is a kind of a, a dot or a tiny cross of the T to a much bigger global move towards right. a one world economy. Now, I've always been told to respect the older generation. Um, however, pofflecock is a word that comes to mind because it's just completely off the wall. Why would anybody just turn around and go, oh, you have to say these 120 oaths. It's a social club for rich men, because women aren't allowed in, all due respect. Are they and not? I didn't know that. Aren't I'll to... give you the answer when this silly man finishes. Okay. That's very kind First of First of all, how dare you oh. say, older generate, are you wearing your birth certificate? I suggest you look in the mirror as far as that goes, young man. There okay. is a branch that women can belong to. Ah. I don't think George Washington, Roosevelt, Truman, <laughs> presidents of America would be called Slippers or Churchill, by the way. He hid a few letters from a certain bod that revealed Not me. that, that towards me. Wasn't he me. was in cahoots with Hitler. Churchill was in cahoots with Hitler? No, I didn't say that. Well, that's what you meant, you implied He that. covered up some letters, kept a secret, because it would cast dispersion. Well, because course, he, yeah. he hid them because he was a Freemason? Or he hid them Correct. in the interests no. of British intelligence? Because he was a Freemason. Okay. Oh, my giddy No, can't. What's happened? What's happened? I've just seen that he's got the old turn around here. <laughs> Pull your jacket out. He's got an all-seeing eye, a pyramid with the eye. That is part of one of the Masonic signs. So is it? Yes, it is. But I got this off of eBay. I don't know what happened. It just came up on my feed and I thought I have to buy that. Oh, rubbish. If yours it just shows how much you protection. know. What does this sign mean? It... Is it the Ill Illuminati? Is that, am I wrong? Well, the Illuminati borrowed some of the symbols of Freemasonry. Pyramid, the all-seeing eye, and the pent... The, I can't even say it because it frightens Oh, me. you're not... Right, OK, the OK. Pentagon, can't we go and think? What's a pentagon? Yes. Pentagon, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes. So don't ever ask for directions if you need to see the FBI. <laughs> well, it's very interesting that the place is called the Pentagon and that that sign is on the US dollar. It is, And, it? and, and that behind that, behind. the most p powerful controller of money and the bank behind that is a Freemason. Wasn't the Pentagon named the Pentagon because it was a Pentagon? It's very complicated, but... Well, it's a five-sided shape, isn't it? Yes, but it is a symbol for Satan. But they weren't okay. going to call it the hexagon, but they ran out of bricks. <laughs> Hang on, Derek. Don't worry about that. Look, I've got the question here. What are these secret societies and who are their members? Now, obviously, you've mentioned who you think they are. I know. I've looked up the membership list. Right. These are recorded Why members. would they put that online? Well, I had to do a bit of digging. Actually. But what about GDPR? I mean... I wouldn't want to be a Freemason and then somebody come along and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're into computers now. It's really great that you've dragged yourself into the 20th century. But what, why are they going to have a list uh, of just people? Just a moment. Oh, sorry. What are you talking about? How, you don't know my history. What are you talking about? No, you've dragged yourself into so the sorry. 20th century. I didn't... Uh, what? That's a red herring. Oh. You don't know what, what means of research I have. No, absolutely not. But it looks like we're 
palm reading or having a seance. So they, that may be how you got your information. Yeah. Yeah. You seem We're to have a them. lot of eclectic views and information that simply you pick up on your radar and it comes to earth here and there, but there's mm. There's, nothing. There's not much connection. There is no connection. No, I can no. see that no. vacancy. No I one, lights are no flickering, one is, but oh. there aren't too many light bulbs on, no. dears. So my last question for you, Charmaine, is what evidence supports your theory? Well, it's recorded in history. And also the membership list of the Freemasons. Okay. Do you believe everything you read? No, I have a fine mind that questions. How do you personally identify secret society members? What I've done is I've done my research and it all starts pointing to the people that are within this secret society that overrides everything. It overrides the Freemasons, it overrides And what all secret of these... society is this? It's called the Octagon and it's got seven members in the Octagon. Now, one of those members is Jeff Bezos. The Amazon billionaire owner? The Amazon billionaire owner because there is only one way you can find this out. There is nobody on earth that would start a business and spend the rest of their time looking like Lex Luthor at all. Now, have you ever seen Elon Musk stroking a cat? <laughs> no, fortunately, I've had higher things to occupy <clears throat> my attention. What you're looking at is you're looking at these multi, multi billionaires that are controlling because what is power? Well, what's power? How's money? money. Yeah. How's money? Can be. We, can be. Money is, is a facilitator. It is a facilitator. That's a very long it word. It does. Now, what's happening is we're moving away from the old school. We're moving away from the Freemasons in their rolled up trousers. We're now moving into technology because technology and data and information is the new currency. Well, um, that was great to hear both of your opinions and theories and uh, thank you very much Derek, I appreciate it and thank you very much Charmaine. It's You're very kind of you both welcome. to come on. Um, I always pride myself in um, making sure that everyone's okay before we walk away. Obviously we can't shake hands, so if you'd like to grab this side of the bucket, thank you, and if you'd like to grab this side of the bucket, so please shake the bucket. Thank you guys, much appreciated. It's been put... Right, thank you. That's all. Keep it calm, we've shaken buckets now. And uh, yeah, join us next time for some more interesting mysteries. Ha ha ha!